So this is the battery cover enclosure for the four kilovolt batteries down here. But I want to show you something that I found. It's kind of important, I guess. So you know how I mark these one, two, three, four batteries? That's cool, but the way to do it is actually use the serial number on the battery. Because that corresponds with the Bluetooth app for kilovolt. In order to find it, it's right there. Let me see if you turn that light off a little bit. There's a little tag right here, a little barcode reader deal. It actually has a serial number. That's how I found the serial number. I just made labels for each of the batteries. And what I did also was just blow out that exhaust fan for the enclosure. Let me turn it back on. Switch on. There it goes. You hear it? Good to go, Buckwheat. <laughs> Lights work too. All right, just cleaned everything up. Let's put the enclosure back in place. Make sure I can see these labels that I just made. All right, everything's clean on the inside, and I got the enclosure covering the batteries back in place. Let me show you. I can actually see. Look inside here. See the serial number right there? And right there. Good. 66. And number 75 right there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. All right, so this Kilovolt app is available on Android systems. It's HLXIT right here. And you hit that, go back here, and it'll show you all four of my batteries down here. And since they're all the same, of course, it says the last three digits here are the serial number of the specific battery. And it's Bluetoothing right now with the battery, all four of them batteries. So let's go on 047, which is going to be the battery on the far left. Shows connecting sometime today. All right, there we go. So you're at 40, 54% state of charge, as you can see. And if you look at the Whizbang Junior, it may be hard to see, but it says 52% on the Whizbang Junior, which are two different things going on. This is just a sensor with the solar charge controller and with the parameters that I set for this unit here gives that percentage state of charge. This is the no kidding off the BMS communicating with um, the software. So this is the, the, the real state of charge of the battery. And it's showing 13.1 volts and if I look down at my meter 13.1 volts. Now we're going to do this with, I see number 75, which is on the far right side battery. And it takes a second for it to communicate with the Bluetooth. Let's we'll see how that it says BLE connected. Okay, it says 52%. Whizbang Jr. says 52%. And last night, when I was messing around with this, or yesterday evening when I had a full charge, the midnights were saying 100% state of charge. These, or this app here, I had a couple that said 98 and a couple that said 97. So it's pretty darn close. But 13.1 volts, yeah, pretty close. 13.08 on there. So that's pretty good there. Let's check number 95, which is second from the left battery. 13.1 volts, 13.1 volts on the meter off the battery. And it's showing 54% state of charge, a little bit better. Interesting. And let's check the last one. 66, which is going to be the second from the right. Let's see what this one's saying. 
52%. Pretty cool. Heck yeah. And it's really kind of funny. It says the stati status here. It says it's discharging. Perfect. I mean, really. There's also another thing you can go on here, and it'll show you how much current is coming off. And it says negative 8.9, but that's for two batteries because I have a dual 24 volt in parallel battery setup. So it, it, it'll read the total current coming off of two batteries. And if you go up to Whizbang Junior here, yeah, exactly. So you got negative eight or so, and the Whizbang Junior is reading negative 16. So that's that makes sense to me. Of course, the temperature. And the last thing, it says cycles here. I've only cycled these batteries 13 times, and I've installed and I installed them on September 13th of last year. Wow, things are gonna last forever. No events in the system log, and they also have a telephone number. You can call in Boxboro, Mass. Telephone number and a website. Very cool. Very cool. I'm glad I got this working. This told me a lot of information direct from the battery. You know, this is coming right off the battery. No BS. It tells you exactly what the BMS is reporting. The health of the battery. Very, very cool. I'm glad I got this thing working. But the only problem... Here, let me pan out here on this camera a little bit. Is that uh, I want to run this on blue stacks here on my laptop. Let me let me go over here on the laptop. I'm gonna show you. So okay, so here's my laptop. So you go over here to the HLXIT, uh, pull up blue stacks, and I want to see should be the same as on the phone here. Turn this off here, and I'll show you the problem I'm having with blue stacks. See, it wants to work, <laughs> but when you're using your phone app, boom, the devices are instantly red, but it does not pull up the devices right here where I can have it on a bigger display, uh, but you still got to be in Bluetooth range anyway, so you really can't do it remotely anyway. So this is kind of like a, you know, point source type monitoring, which is fine, which is fine. So, all right, guys, hopefully that helps you. And thanks for watching. Oh, I got some new stickers in. Let me show you. Uh, Stickerapp.com. Send me some monster freaking stickers here. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you later. Hope you're having a good one, staying safe and staying inside and away from people during this stupid virus flu thing going on. Later.